What up, bosses? Your main man, MBI. Gonna be bringing you some Fiora top lane gameplay today. Changing things up from my buddy Nasus, who I've been absolutely loving in season six. I can't think of too many matchups that I've played where I've struggled at all, and even if I have struggled, come 20 minutes, it's just like, yeah, Maybe GG, whatever, mate. But Fiora was a champion I was quite enjoying and was very popular in the sort of whole LCS or in League Pro Tournament, so. Well, we fall back to her today. We are against Rengar, who's running Ignite, which means I'm gonna have to play a bit more cautious, just because he has that Ignite there. You know, he could do some, he does do some nice damage if he uses his bush correctly, and that Ignite just gonna be the difference. So we, what we want to make sure is we don't give away the early first blood to him, and then my TP would just be a lot more effective because we'll become stronger and whatnot. But we we'll see. It all depends on how he actually uses the bush. But yeah. It should be an uh, interesting matchup. It's been a while since I last played Fiora, so hopefully we can do the job, but we just gotta avoid when he does go into that bush. What we can do with the beauty of getting the two sort of free wards is to actually um ward it. That way we have the vision over him, but we just wanna try and make sure we get the early level two. We actually hit the vital spot which made us come back on that trade, which was nice. I wanna check what my I think my W is my parley. Uh, I always get it mixed up. I remember one game I I took it I took my E and I was trying to parlay and I was like, why is this not working? And I was getting so angry and I thought, oh, yeah. That was huge. We could have maybe have carried on going on to him then, but it was more the minions, the AK, the Winions I like to call them, but that was actually um, really big. So the trade so far we're coming out pretty good. Once that W's back up, maybe we'll look to maybe make something happen, but we're just against some minions, just see. Maybe the problem. It's a nice kind of point to uh, It's just a minion, so that's my biggest kind of concern. Early game minions just do so much damage, you, if you're not careful. Good job there, so I mean, That's exactly what I mean. Pretty good in these trades so far. We've got to be careful because we are pushing, we have no wards, and Nibby's a strong jungler. So, be a little bit cautious. I probably should ward. Uh, I want these minions more. We made him burn for all his pots, which is really, really good. I have ping, that does worry me. We just actually have the waves going against him, so there's no point in being aggressive. And I can't afford to put a ward down at the same time. Oh, that was a fail on my behalf then. Could have done a nice little trade. Wasn't for that, and now he kind of pulls it up. A bit careful. We'll drop a ward down because the wave's going against him. Um, yeah, that we had a really good lead up until that point, but that whole sort of me missing my W there and then him going into the bush. Got a really nice. It's really good for him. That's cool. So we have um, TP, so. Do have too many problems. You can always just uh, TP back whilst you can have that sort of um, option. We do have to respect that now where I've got no pots. It was all just because that trade a second ago we lost, and that kind of hurt me a bit. Looking really good up until that point, and messed it up. It's fine. Trying to make the most out of my W to block some even especially if he goes for just like E and we get the stun off on him. So yeah, things are cool. But obviously he has his little heal there. I think it's a great heal. I uh, know I don't think he even heals actually um, until he, if unless he's got max points in it. So what I mean by that is his full stats. I believe yeah. Otherwise it would be pretty OP. Yeah. Good little trade again, we just gotta kinda of respect that that ignites there and we're getting lower and lower, so it wouldn't take much to him to uh, mess me up. That's cool. Don't forget my ultimate soon, we maybe could go for him, but just ignite. There's his heal. I say the beauty of everything is we have TP, so I might have to actually back. Oh, here we get out of here. I thought you actually ignited me then. That would have been pretty close if you had. And she did, but this is the beauty of me having TP. It's not ideally the back I would like to make, but actually, 
the um that's, uh, oh. that's all right to try and get this big one Ah, uh, we trade flashes. I was hoping just to have done a bit more uh, damage to him than what we did, but we trade flashes. It's fine. Uh, my W was up. I would say go for that. He's trying to bait me for nearly or something. Uh, longer it delays him, it doesn't really bother me too much. But we trade ults and flashes, which I don't know, may come back to help me, but. It was worth a try. I don't know why he's actually standing around. It's my W's back up work. Go for this. I never hold back. Yeah, what he's up to. Ah, there you go. That's why. I had a feeling Nidley must be about to be um Oh there you go. GG. Good job. Really good job. Didn't get an assist on that, but I had a bean and Rengo. I had to be standing around for one reason as well as I've been a bit too cautious. Um, yeah, but because Fizz was coming, I felt confident, and the only way really Nidhi could be anywhere was in that bush, which she was, and obviously she re revealed herself, which she knew, so she had to chuck that heel down. But beautiful gank by uh, Fizz, it couldn't have really been any better. Oh, we are lagging. We're back here. Actually, you might be able to kill this wave quick now. He's going to lose a lot of minions then. He should have backed. I think he was just feeling that. Oh, that leg. He knew that Nidley was going to be about, so he, he was trying to hope that that would bait me, or I'd bait myself then. Nice if we actually got some of these minions. Uh, we're back here. We've just got zero mana. We should have a bit of a CS. Yes, it's pretty even. We're looking good. Um, obviously, he still holds his ignite, but. We're looking pretty damn strong. I'm gonna get my tier mat now, which is huge. Um, and we can you know, pick up a van from there. We can. I'll just pick up the boots and fuck it. And a a pink ward if possible. Vision is key. But yeah, GG. Um, that's a, no, a nice start. Nice start. This is a little bit here because of the, I, I back so I just didn't kill the minions quick enough. But. We're coming up with my way, which is the most important thing. He does actually hold a bit of a CS speed, though. But I should... I feel confident to actually, um... Get on top of him now without his ignite. As I say, as long as I make the right, um... Sort of parley, or rip toast, or whatever you want to call it these days. It should be fine. I think he could be going... Going mid. He's just disappeared and he went that way, so... Shut down. There he was. He gets the shutdown on Fizz, which should be a bit of a bummer. They do kill him, but unless it's uh, not ideal. We'll just try and shove this, try and deny as much farm into the turret as possible and see what I was trying to get. That's the problem when you are trying to rush it, you end up losing half of like, half of it, but it's cool. Um I don't really want to take his turret, but yeah, it was a good, good rain by Rango. I did sort of ping it out, but obviously, I guess. I don't know. I didn't listen to my pings. About they were about comfortable. Uh, I don't want to take the turret just purely because it just opens me to get him ganked by Nidley, though. And he'll lose a lot more farm this way as well, so. To be honest with the minions. Oh, no, you little bitches. Minions, my unit. Hopefully, he saves it. But he loses a lot there. But because my farm has not been great, he yeah, hold the CS lead over me still, which is really bad. Which is really, really bad. You spot nearly out. I think it's looking good over the board. Just annoyed when my farm's not brilliant last night. Oh god, that's really, really bad. Yeah, as soon as I missed that W, which I did then, the trade just goes straight into his favour, which happened then. Um, he kind of like leaked over it, which was really bad. Oh, well. Be careful of, uh... We should be alright. I have my ult now, so... Shouldn't be too much of a... Oh my god, that's the... That's max range shit right there. Kinda yeah. 
much the uh Are we gonna go on him? No. Well, we, we got. I could have maybe played. I think I could have maybe got them both. I don't know. It was a shame that I took both the spears that I did. They both had max range. I thought it was out of the, out of her bounds, but both of them hit me, which was a real bummer. Just a lot of unnecessary damage. But in fact, uh, well, the problem was when, when Rengo went in on me. I was able to get my ultimate off, and he took a turret hit. And the turret propped onto him for whatever reason. I guess he maybe W'd. Which just meant it go really weird. It made it go in my favor then, which was huge. Uh, my TP's up, but I might just keep hold of it. Um, there's not really a need to TP in at the moment. We can come pretty much with a wave. And it'd be nice now to try and maybe make a play happen somewhere else. I'm sure if my farm's a little bit sloppy, but. You know, to get a one. I would get a one kill in a 2v1 situation. I'm happy that, and obviously Biz, again with a, a good roam, very active. Active fish. Um, no, it's GG. No, it was a bit of a balls up by them, really. But we'll see what we can make happen now. GG. <laughs> that was a lot. A bit more damage than I thought he was going to put out, but again, knew, knew the fish was coming up. He is, uh... Who's he against? Annie. I guess she is quite mobile. We'll take the turret now. Um, I'm not going to pop any of my pots. I'm nearly as fun to do that. I should get out of here. I wanted to kind of push the wave a little bit more, but... It's not really worth it. So I'll just back out. Good kill. Everything's going well, misfortune. I'm going to pick up another kill. Today. Complete my uh, Hydra now, which is a really nice pickup. They're looking good, just a bit sloppy my farm. My farm's not great, like, Biz has been in my lane, what, three or four times, and he's got like 20 CS more than me, and that's just like, what the fuck. Terrible. Just think you ahead of the south, so I don't know. DP in me. GG! Good stuff, you probably can rotate and get the dragon now. I might even kill these things. I'm just gonna get a uh, taunt on them. Oh yeah. That's not good. I can't believe I actually just survived that. That was crazy. I would like that blue uh, red buff. Oh. Same time, that's probably not uh, worth it. Ah, oh, good job. We probably could take Dragon off this, which would be really nice. Uh, yeah, big win then. We've got a double kill. Well, four kills, eh? Maybe got the kills from it. Do you Dragon? This is just creating so much pressure, so. Should be able to take Dragon easy now, so. Good, yeah, good TP. Thing is, I wanted them to overcommit, because if I TP'd it instantly when I was originally looking at it, they can just back off and. You know, I probably didn't really get it from there, but because they were extended, it made that I was able to get off to Annie. Give a nice double kill. Oh, much planes. Uh, we'll pick up boots now. I've already given Ninja Tabby. Helps with my trading with whoever gets, like Rengo or whatever. And we'll pick up another longsword. Uh, may as well get full mana. Oh shit, that is one bad bitch. <laughs> 13 to 2. Still out farming me. He's been everywhere. <laughs> Farm has been sloppy, but. And anyway, we got some kills, which is the main thing. But it is so important, that uh, scene, and something I'm very critical about. Like 72 minion disorder. What's the highest at the moment? 114, even that's not a great deal, to be honest, at this point in time, but. It's better than nothing. And once you've got, what, 2 kills as well. Not bad. Not really much happening top, so I'm kind of roaming around. That we have probably walked through a ward. The pilot that actually would have stunned them, but it wasn't to be. Be careful where everyone is. Ah. Oh, 
too late on my... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was too late on my parlay though. That could have been really nice. Here comes Mr. Speedball though. And the fish. Oh. You don't know. Like Oh yeah, there we go. Oh god, there was Annie there. Oh god. I did not see... Oh, 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 oh. Great, I could actually have got away then. I would have 100% I'd have walked away. I didn't realise she was there. I just kind of pulled on fresh, but... I would actually have got away had we not went on to her. I was just about that. We, If we hit the vital point then... Um, well, the only vital point. If we actually hit her, I felt that I would have killed her. But... GG. Even the Annie. Renga will finally take top now, and so it's about the time. We've been away from top for so long. But yeah, we're looking pretty fair, and uh, Spiz has just carried this game to 100%. And completely snowboard, or well, not necessarily snowboard me, but it helped my lane out. So even with the fact that Biz come and ganked Renga multiple times, I still wasn't even out farming him. And Biz was picking up the kill, so it didn't really benefit me too much. But yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Some nice kills, but I've just been annoyed with my farm. But at the same time, we haven't been in lane for a good sort of five, six minutes and sloppy early game farm. Really. We were looking good against Rengai. At the start, I thought that I was almost going to be able to kill him, but it all just really revolves around me queuing in there, hitting that vital spell, using my E if possible, and then W in to avoid his damage, and then we can just fall back because he slowed. And it's GG, but if I miss that W, as you saw, which happened after I did so well at the start, then I kind of throw everything away, and with that ignite there of his, it kind of, it's pretty scary, and you see he did some nice damage to me, but... They were looking good, may as well shove this, so... They can't surrender yet, but... I wouldn't surprise me if they do surrender in 20 minutes. <laughs> Not looking um, too good, this Diamond playing. Should be able to take this turret now. I don't know if I should have scaled my E, I guess I don't know. No TP, so... We'll get the top, which is cool. We're a bit cautious in their areas. Uh, we'll shove this out, and we'll get out of here. A bit too risky. We don't want to throw anything away, I always actually. All fed, and the comeback will be on, and then we lose. <laughs> I get myself a nice little do back, I'd be very, very happy. Keep up my W just in case anyone does come over. Should be able to pick. Oh god, oh god, oh god, there's been a for a spear. I'll stand in front, we'll take the spear shot. <laughs> nice. Good job. Uh, I would kinda, I wouldn't mind going for her, but with Annie sort of looming around, and that little orb thing spotting me out, it's just not. Oh, happy days. Award. How much gold we get for that? 15 gold, that's crazy. Oh, that lag, what's going on here? Oh, that was a bit nasty lag. Uh, Rengar will spot me out here, but... Cool, I don't know where he's going. Probably the, the dumb idea getting this way. <laughs> and as everyone's back, and I'll just oh, hi guys! And then, oh no, you're not here, I'm dead. Just a biz. He's just got flipping four core items already, that's ridiculous. In fact, he's just been out there fighting what amazing he's been able to roam so much. He has so many kills, do everything for everyone, and yet has the highest CS, or almost highest CS in game. Even 30 odd more farm than me. Uh, bot just died, so we'll see if we can shut this out real quick. They're all being chased, so nice to try and get an inhibitor here. Should be able to, I feel. We got a good amount of damage with my E as well. I should show through the turret pretty quick. Oh, they surrendered, I say. That's the 20 for surrender. Good news, nice plan for Fiora. Uh, too hard against I don't know. It was an interesting matchup versus Rango because he's bringing Ignite to a TP party. He brings Ignite to top lane these days. Um, but if you can get those early kills, then it pays off, but which he didn't. And we made some really made some really nice trades with him with my W, but then once, as you saw, there was two or three occasions when I missed, and then I just threw, threw that whole sort of lead I built up against him. Um, and obviously, I yeah, missed a, a few sort of early minions, and he, in fact, like, Biz killed him twice or whatever, or I can't remember how many times he came. In fact, he was still helping me after that, was just 
poor farming on my part, but nice TP bot and a double kill, and to just fizz being as bad as what he was made this game just end so quickly. But GG, hope you've enjoyed, have a good Christmas, if it's still Christmas. Peace.